We all know that the Philip Goldson Highway and Ramate Bypass is a vital road corridor as it provides access to one of the country's largest agriculture zones, as well as facilitates the movement of goods and people between Belize, Mexico, and Guatemala. It is unfortunately also the road that records the highest frequency of road traffic accidents and fatalities. Sections of the project corridor are highly vulnerable to the effects of extreme weather events and climate change. Today, I am proud to welcome you to this event where we celebrate the start for better, safer and more resilient roads. Working closely with our partners in the Caribbean Development Bank and also in the government of Belize, this project has adopted an integrated approach. It focuses not only on building the hard infrastructure in an environmentally friendly and sustainable way, but also considers the different needs of the many people it will serve, such as the 45,000 residents in Corozal, Orange Walk, and other northern communities. CDB's Country Strategy Paper for Belize 2016 to 2020 identifies this project as an important intervention for modernizing the road network, improving communication, safety, and resilience and contributing to increased competitiveness and productivity. The implementation approach integrates the cross-cutting themes of gender equality and environmental sustainability. The project is also expected to contribute to Belize's achievement of its sustainable development goals. As Northern Belize's main transportation artery, averaging over 20,000 vehicles per day, 10% of which are heavy goods vehicle, the Philip Goldson Highway was prioritized as infrastructure for rehabilitation interventions that would ensure it remains sustainable going into a bright economic future. The upgrading of the Remate Bypass is also a major and welcome addition to the Ministry's network of paved roads as it taps into a valuable agricultural sweet spot of northwestern Corozal and provides a shorter route to the border with Mexico for many road users. I extend congratulations to everyone involved in this project. We commend the contractors, the project supervisors and the administration team for their stellar work. While I'm well aware that this is the official groundbreaking, I'm thrilled to see how advanced construction has progressed and look forward to celebrating the completion of this project, which is in keeping with our commitment of delivering on plan, please.